I welcome you all for uh, the module 3 lecture 2. In the last lecture, we started discussion on uh, the basics of uh, limits, fits and tolerances and we uh, discussed about some of the terminologies used uh, uh, with reference to limits, fits and tolerances. We will continue with the discussion. Now, the next uh, terminology is uh, upper uh, deviation. So, it is uh, the algebraic difference between the maximum limit of uh, size of either hole or shaft and the corresponding uh, basic size. So, it is uh, designated by capital E s for holes and uh, small e s for uh, shaft. And similarly, lower deviation, it is the algebraic difference between uh, the minimum limit of size of either uh, hole or shaft and the corresponding uh, basic size like uh, capital E i for hole and small e i for uh, shaft. And the next term is uh, fundamental deviation. It is uh, one of the two deviations which is uh, nearest to the 0 line for either a hole or a shaft which is chosen to define the position of the tolerance uh, zone. And then uh, we have another term allowance, it is the difference between the maximum metal limits on the hole and the shaft and this determines uh, the quality of uh, the fit. Now, in this uh, diagram, uh, we can understand uh, the uh, terms uh, that are discussed uh, just now. You can see we have uh, the hole and uh, this is the basic size of uh, the hole and uh, then we have uh, the shaft again the basic size of the shaft is uh, uh, same value and then uh, this is uh, the minimum size of the shaft and then maximum size of the shaft. So, this uh, indicates the tolerance that is allowed for the shaft and this tolerance is uh, designated by international tolerance grade or we say IT number. Uh, we will discuss uh, this international tolerance grade in more detail after uh, some time. And now, the similarly for uh, the hole, uh, we have uh, the this is the minimum uh, size and then this is the maximum uh, size. This difference between maximum size and minimum size gives uh, the tolerance and uh, this uh, tolerance is again uh, designated by international tolerance grade or IT number. Now, we can uh, see that uh, this uh, difference between the basic size and the tolerance or uh, the maximum size of the shaft is the upper deviation and it is uh, designated by E s. And similarly, the difference between the basic size and the minimum size of the shaft is uh, designated by E i, lower deviation E i, lower case uh, E i. Similarly, for uh, the hole, the algebraic difference between this basic size and the minimum size of the hole. So, this difference is known as uh, lower deviation and it is designated by capital E i and then uh, the difference between uh, the uh, basic size and the maximum uh, size of the hole. So, this difference is designated by capital E s which is uh, upper uh, deviation. Now, uh, there is another term uh, fundamental uh, deviation, it is the nearest uh, deviation, the deviation which is nearer to the basic size is known as uh, fundamental uh, deviation. Now, in, the ca in this uh, case, the upper deviation is, uh, this is very close to the basic size. So, this 
gap is known as fundamental deviation and it is represent, represented by a lower case uh, letters for uh, shaft like uh, A, B, C, D. And in the case of uh, holes, the lower deviation that is capital E i is very close to the uh, basic size. And this uh, uh, gap is known as uh, fundamental deviation which is again uh, indicated designated by capital letters for holes like A, B, C, D etcetera. This we will discuss in detail after uh, some time. Now, there are uh, some more terms basic, uh, basic shaft and basic uh, hole. The shafts and holes that have 0 fundamental deviations. Now, in the previous uh, slide we saw that there is some fundamental deviation for the shaft as well as for the hole. If this fundamental deviation is 0, that means the basic size of the shaft is equal to the uh, maximum size of the shaft. If that is the case, uh, that is known as uh, the basic uh, shaft. Similarly, for basic hole, if this uh, fundamental deviation is 0, that means basic size of the hole is equal to the uh, minimum uh, size of the hole. If that is the case, then we say such a hole is known as a basic uh, hole. So, the shafts and holes that have 0 fundamental deviations are known as basic shafts and holes. The basic hole has 0 lower deviation, whereas the basic shaft has 0 upper deviation. And then we have uh, hole uh, designation. Uh, we use uh, capital uh, uh, A, B, C, etcetera uh, to designate the holes in the SO system by uh, A, B up to Z and then Z A, Z B, Z C excluding I, L, O, Q, W and adding J, S. These are uh, the 25 uh, numbers uh, specified is uh, specified in the Indian standard. Similarly, for shaft uh, designation, we use lower case uh, letters A, B, C, D, etcetera up to Z, then Z A, Z B, Z C excluding I, L, O, Q, W and adding uh, J, S. So, 25 uh, uh, shaft designations are there. In uh, ISO, there are uh, 28 uh, designations are there. And then we have maximum material condition, uh, short form is M, M, C. So, this is uh, the minimum diameter of uh, hole and uh, maximum diameter of shaft. Now, we can understand this uh, by using some simple sketches. So, we have a plate like this, some work piece with a hole. Okay, this is the say basic uh, size of the hole and then we have a lower limit uh, for the hole and then we have upper limit for the hole. Okay. This is the high limit for the hole and inner one is uh, the lower limit for the hole. Now, when the size of the hole is equal to lower limit, then we have maximum uh, material in this particular part. So, that is uh, known as uh, maximum uh, material condition, uh, which is uh, equal to minimum diameter of the Now, this is the size of the shaft and then we have uh, the tolerance like this. So, this is the basic size this is uh, basic size and then this is the lower uh, limit of the shaft and then we have uh, higher limit of the shaft. So, this is high limit and this is uh, low limit. So, when the size of the shaft is equal to lower limit, then the material content will be uh, least. And then when the size of the shaft is equal to H higher limit, then uh, it has maximum uh, uh, material condition that is equal to the maximum diameter of the shaft. Similarly, least uh, material condition, this is equal to maximum diameter of uh, hole. So, when the 
diameter of hole is equal to the maximum size, then uh, the, the material content is uh, the least. And similarly, when the shaft size equal to shaft size is equal to the lower limit, then the material content is least. So that is uh, known as uh, least uh, material condition. Now those uh, uh, hole and shaft uh, designations uh, we can understand here. So this is uh, the this line indicates uh, the basic size uh, for the hole and this line indicates uh, the uh, basic size for the shaft and uh, the y axis is uh, fundamental deviation in microns. Now we have uh, various uh, uh, designations for holes A, B, C, D etcetera. Now we can see here at this particular point where uh, the hole is designated by H, the deviation is uh, 0. So this is uh, taken as a basic uh, uh, hole, hole ba basic hole and similarly if you observe here the deviation at this particular uh, uh, point is 0. So deviation is, is 0. So this uh, H shaft is uh, taken as uh, the basic uh, shaft. Now uh, uh, at this uh, corresponds to the, so these are holes, all capital letters uh, they correspond to holes. Now this is the tolerance zone, this gap, this zone indicates the tolerance zone and this corresponds to the lower limit of uh, the hole and this corresponds to the upper limit of the hole. So this difference is the tolerance. Now we can see here other than H, the other uh, uh, holes have uh, some fundamental uh, deviation positive fundamental deviation for A, B, C, D, E, F, G up, up to this we have positive fundamental deviation. Then H has 0 fundamental deviation. After that the other holes have negative fundamental deviations. So Similarly, uh, with respect to the shafts, uh, shaft A, B, C, D, E, F, G they have uh, negative fundamental deviation. Okay, and uh, the H shaft H has zero fundamental deviation. Then other uh, holes like K, M, N, etc. They have uh, positive uh, fundamental uh, deviation. Now this particular uh, uh, drawing it refers to the basic size of uh, thirty, and uh, if, uh, when the basic size varies again uh, the, the fundamental deviation values uh, will uh, vary. Then uh, we will move to the uh, fit, definition of uh, fit. It is uh, the relationship between two parts that are assembled. Uh, this fit results from the difference uh, between uh, the, the size of shaft and uh, size of uh, hole or any two mating uh, uh, parts. Now it, the, it also refers to the mating of two mechanical uh, components. Uh, manufactured parts, all manufactured uh, parts are very frequently required to mate with uh, one another. They may be uh, designed for uh, slide uh, freely. That means uh, the shaft size is smaller than the hole size so that uh, the shaft can uh, move inside the hole uh, freely. It, it can uh, rotate in the hole or it can slide in the hole uh, or uh, they may be designed to bind together. That means the shaft size is greater than the hole size so that uh, when we push the shaft into the hole by applying some force, uh, the two mating parts are uh, rigidly held. So, uh, Depending upon the application, we may use uh, the clearance fit wherein uh, the size of the shaft is lesser than the size of the hole or we may use uh, interference fit where uh, the size of the shaft is greater than uh, the size of the hole. 
there is another kind of uh, fit known as the transition fit wherein depending upon the shaft size and uh, the hole size we may get either uh, the clearance fit or uh, interference uh, fit. So, such things uh, we will see uh, uh, after some time. Now, uh, there are two uh, systems of uh, fits the first one is hole based uh, system and the second one is uh, shaft uh, based system. Now, we can observe in this uh, picture the this is uh, the hole based system wherein size of the hole is kept constant the hole size is uh, kept, kept constant and uh, the shaft size is varied. So, we have uh, different uh, shafts. Now, this is the basic uh, size of the hole and then uh, this uh, difference gives the tolerance for the hole. Now, uh, to get the different kinds of fit whether we want the clearance fit or uh, interference fit or transition fit, we vary the shaft uh, size. And uh, in the second uh, system, we have shaft based uh, system wherein size of the shaft is kept constant. We can see in this picture the size of the shaft is not varied, it is it's constant and hole size is uh, varied to get uh, different uh, fits. For example, in, the, in this case uh, the hole is uh, bigger than the shaft. So, we have uh, some clearance here. So, we get the clearance fit and then here the a uh, shaft uh, is bigger than uh, the hole size. So, we get the interference uh, fit here in between we have a transition uh, fit. Now, uh, normally hole uh, basis uh, system is preferred because see the machining of uh, the inner surfaces for example, uh, holes is always uh, uh, difficult and uh, 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 we need to have a series of tools for example, say we require different uh, sizes of uh, holes then we should have uh, uh, multiple uh, drill tools lap uh, the grain, uh, internal grinding tools and then reamers. So, uh, if we have different uh, uh, hole sizes then uh, the inventory of tool uh, will uh, increase whereas, uh, shaft size can be varied using a single point cutting tool in the turning process or using a single uh, grinding wheel we can grind the different uh, the shaft uh, sizes. So, by using the whole basic system we can always reduce the tool inventory. So, in uh, manufacturing uh, uh, environment normally whole basis system is uh, used. Now, we have uh, uh, three categories of uh, uh, fits known as uh, clearance fit, uh, transition fit and uh, interference fit. Now, we will uh, discuss about these three types of fits in detail. Now, the clearance uh, fits are used when it is desirable for the shaft uh, to rotate or slide freely within the hole. This is also known as uh, sliding uh, fit that means, the hole size is bigger than the shaft size. So, that uh, the shaft can freely move inside the hole and in the interference fit uh, now, whenever uh, the rigid uh, we want to uh, uh, fix uh, the shaft inside the hole rigidly, then we go for uh, interference uh, fit. Now, uh, a great amount of force is uh, needed uh, to see the parts which are uh, fixed using uh, interference fit. If we want to remove them, then great, great amount of force is needed to separate uh, them and so, um, uh, many times uh, they may get damaged when they are uh, separated because they are rigidly held uh, in the inter the parts are rigidly held in the interference uh, fits. And in the case of transition fits uh, when it is uh, desirable that the shaft is to be held securely yet not so securely that uh, they cannot be disassembled. That means, uh, sometimes we want to uh, separate the, the two mating parts in such cases we go for uh, transition uh, uh, fit this is also known as uh, location fit that is by uh, appropriately assigning the tolerance uh, values for the shaft and the hole we can get uh, the desired uh, type of uh, fits depending upon the application. Within each uh, category of fit there are several classes 
ranging from uh, high precision to narrow tolerance to lower precision and wider uh, tolerance. The choice of fit is dictated by uh, the use, what is the use or what is the application of uh, the uh, fit and secondly by manufacturability, uh, by uh, what type of uh, manufacturing system, we are, whether we are using uh, the uh, uh, not so precision machine tools or very high precision tools. So, uh, the, that aspect also is uh, uh, taken into consideration while selecting uh, the fit. Now, we will study the clearance fit in uh, detail. This uh, picture shows uh, that uh, we have a hole here with uh, the minimum size of the hole and the maximum size of the hole. This uh, algebraic difference gives uh, the tolerance for uh, the hole. So, this uh, gap represents the tolerance for uh, the hole. That means, uh, the hole size can be anywhere between the minimum uh, hole and maximum, it can be here or it can be here. So, it can take any uh, size between this uh, two limits, upper and lower limits. So, similarly, we have a shaft with uh, the maximum uh, size and the minimum size. And now, uh, when the shaft size is maximum and the hole size is minimum, so, this algebraic sum gives uh, uh, algebraic difference gives the minimum uh, clearance and uh, we get the maximum clearance uh, when we have uh, maximum sized holes and uh, minimum sized uh, shafts. So, this uh, represents the maximum clearance. So, sometimes uh, we need to uh, say so we have a bush bearing here. So, this is the bush bearing. and then uh, we have a shaft inside. So, it has to rotate or it has to move uh, freely. So, in such cases uh, we go for uh, clearance fit. So, one uh, application is shown here, this is the shaft and this is the bush bearing. So, shaft uh, is required to rotate freely inside. In such cases we go for uh, clearance uh, fit. And then uh, there are different uh, grades of uh, clearance fits as per uh, the American standard B 4.1. Now, uh, they are uh, represented by R c 1, R c 2, etcetera. As the R c, the lower uh, R c numbers that means 1, 2, 3, etcetera, they are uh, very tighter uh, fits and as the number increases like R c 5, 6, R c 6, etcetera, they uh, they are uh, they represent the loser uh, uh, fits. So, R C 1 wherein uh, the, the uh, uh, it has tighter fit and uh, it is used when accurate uh, location is uh, intended uh, without uh, any noticeable play and shafts are very expensive to manufacture since they have very uh, tight tolerance and uh, the clearance is very very less. So, one example is uh, H 7 G 6 combination gives us uh, the R C 1 uh, clearance fit. So, what is this H 7 G 6? It is uh, the whole uh, designation and the G is the, the designation for the shaft and 7 indicates uh, the I T number, international tolerance grade for whole and uh, the 6 represents uh, the I T number for uh, the shaft. Uh, we will uh, discuss about these uh, grades, I T grades uh, uh, in detail in a short while. So, then they have R C 2, this is a sliding uh, fit and this kind of fit is intended for the accurate location, but with greater maximum clearance as compared to R C 1. Parts uh, made to this fit turn and move uh, easily because of this uh, higher uh, clearance. So, this type is uh, not designed for free run, sliding uh, fits in larger sizes may cease with smaller uh, temperature changes. So, this point uh, we should uh, note while using uh, uh, the sliding uh, fits. Similarly, we have R C 3 wherein uh, uh, the parts can uh, run uh, very freely because of higher uh, clearances. This uh, fit is intended for precision work at uh, slow speed, low bearing pressures and light general pressures 
and this is not suitable where noticeable temperature differences uh, occur. Uh, if temperature rise is there, then again the, the seizure may occur. Then we have RC4 close uh, running uh, uh, fits. So, this is suitable for uh, the machinery with uh, moderate uh, surface speed, moderate bearing pressures and general pressures where accurate location and minimum play are uh, desired. Uh, this has uh, smaller clearances with higher requirements for precision fit. So, one example is uh, this is suitable for lubricated uh, bearings and we can get uh, close running fit by using H8 and F7 combination. Then we have RC5 and RC6, uh, they are known as medium uh, running fits and they are designed for machines running at higher uh, running speeds, considerable bearing pressures and heavy general uh, pressure. This has greater clearances with uh, common requirements for uh, precision uh, fit. So, next we have RC7 which is a free running uh, fits where accuracy is not uh, that much essential. So, because of uh, the more clearances there may be a uh, small play may be present. So, this is suitable for great temperature variations and high running speeds these uh, fits are suitable to use without any special requirements for precise guiding of shafts. For example, uh, H9 D10 combination gives us uh, the free running uh, fits and then we have RC8 and RC9, they are very loose uh, running uh, fits. Uh, they are not intended for, intended for use where wide commercial tolerances may be required in the shaft. Uh, with this fit, the parts have great amount of clearances with uh, great tolerances. So, loose running fits are uh, exposed to effects of corrosion, contamination by dust and thermal or mechanical uh, deformation. That means, since the clearances are more, uh, we may, um, uh, it, their parts are exposed to the such uh, uh, conditions like corrosion and uh, uh, dust. So, one example is uh, th these are suitable for uh, loose uh, pulleys. So, you can get uh, loose running uh, fit by H11 C11 combination. Then we have uh, interference uh, fit. So, this we get when uh, the minimum permitted diameter of the shaft, minimum permitted diameter of the shaft is larger than the maximum diameter of the hole. We can see in this picture, this is the maximum size of the hole. So, this is uh, smaller than the minimum size of the shaft. In such cases, uh, we get uh, interference uh, fit. So, we get minimum interference uh, when we have uh, the maximum uh, sized hole and minimum sized uh, shaft and the interference will be maximum when we have a minimum uh, sized hole and maximum sized uh, uh, shaft. So, when uh, such uh, interference fits are uh, used, we can uh, see in this uh, diagram, we have a bearing housing and we want to fit uh, this uh, particular bearing into the bearing housing. So, this uh, outer uh, ring of the bearing uh, should be tightly held in the bearing housing. There should not be any relative motion between these two. In such cases, interference uh, fits are uh, used. So, wherein uh, the outer diameter of this ring will be uh, bigger than uh, the diameter of uh, this uh, housing. Now, uh, we have some more examples for interference uh, fit. We can see here a great amount of uh, uh, force or pressure is required to fit uh, the parts uh, to get the interference fit. We can see here vices, machine vices are uh, used to fit uh, this shaft into the hole. And we have another example of uh, engine block uh, wherein uh, we have to insert a liner. So, we have to apply a great de deal of uh, pressure, we use hydraulic uh, uh, presses for fitting uh, liners into the engine uh, block. By knowing the diameter of the hole, diameter of the shaft and then their surface conditions etcetera, etcetera, uh, we can always uh, calculate what is the amount of uh, pressure or force required by using uh, the uh, equations available. Now, there are different uh, grades of uh, interference fit as per uh, American standard uh, ANSI B 4.1. So, there are uh, force and uh, shrink fits. So, we have Fn1, Fn2, etcetera, etcetera. Uh, Fn1 is uh, light drive uh, fit. 
So, these types of fits are those requiring light assembly pressure. So, as the number increases 1, 2, 3 etcetera the amount of uh, pressure required will also increase and uh, the uh, these fits light drive fits they produce more or less permanent uh, assemblies they are suitable in cast iron external members for uh, or for thin uh, sections or long fits. So, H 7 P 6 uh, combination gives us uh, F n 1 uh, fit and then we have uh, F n 2 medium drive fit these types of fits are suitable for ordinary steel uh, parts or uh, shrink fits on uh, light sections and uh, medium drive fits are about uh, the uh, tightest uh, fits that can be used with high grade cast iron external members. We can get uh, the medium drive fit by using H 7 S 6 uh, combination and then they have F n 3 heavy drive fits and uh, these are uh, suitable for heavier uh, steel parts or shrink fits in medium sections. Uh, the combination H 7 T 6 uh, gives us the heavy drive uh, fit. And then we have uh, FN4 and FN5 force uh, drive uh, uh, fits. These types of fits are uh, for parts uh, which can be highly stressed. Now, uh, the H7U6 uh, or H8X7 combination gives us uh, force uh, drive uh, fits. Now, we can understand from this uh, picture that we have we in all these examples we are using H7 uh, the basic hole. Uh, H 7 uh, hole wherein uh, the deviation is 0 and this is uh, the hole tolerance and then we are uh, using uh, P 6 uh, S 6 T 6 uh, shafts. So, we have P 6 uh, shaft and S 6 uh, shaft. Now, we can see here the diameter minimum diameter of uh, So, this uh, represents this size represents minimum uh, size of the shaft. So, this is greater than the maximum size of the hole. So, we get uh, interference uh, fit. Similarly, if you take the example of H 7 uh, S 6, H 7 S 6 which gives medium drive fit, uh, this is uh, the S 6 uh, shaft and this is H 7 uh, hole. So, this is the minimum size of the shaft and this gives us uh, the maximum size of the hole. You can see here there is lot of uh, interference uh, between these two. So, we have to apply great amount of uh, force to get this uh, medium uh, drive uh, fit and here uh, this is uh, the shaft tolerance and this is the hole tolerance and this distance gives uh, the uh, minimum uh, interference and this uh, gives the maximum uh, interference. Then we have uh, locational uh, interference uh, fits that are uh, designated by L n. These fits are used where uh, accuracy of location is prime uh, importance. These fits are used for parts requiring rigidity and alignment with no special requirements for bore pressure. The parts can be assembled or disassembled. Uh, the parts can be assembled or disassembled using uh, cold pressing and great forces or uh, hot uh, pressing. That means the uh, hole is heated so that the diameter increases and then uh, the shaft can be inserted and uh, when uh, both uh, the shaft and hole are uh, 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 cooled down we get uh, the locational uh, interference fit. So, shaft uh, P 6 and with uh, hole H 7 uh, we can get the true interference uh, fit. It is the standard press fit for steel, cast iron or brass or brass to steel uh, assemblies and uh, different uh, types of LN fits uh, are uh, uh, used depending upon uh, the application. Uh, one can use LN 1, LN 2, LN 3 etcetera etcetera. Now, this uh, diagram uh, shows that we have uh, H 7 uh, hole this is the hole tolerance and then we have uh, uh, U 6 
uh, shaft uh, tolerance or if we take this example H7 uh, P6, so we have H7 hole, this is the hole tolerance and then we have P6 uh, shaft. So, you uh, can understand and then we have H7 S6, H7 U6, so the this is the interference that is available, minimum interference uh, that is uh, available. Now, we will move to the transition uh, fit. So, the diameter of uh, the largest allowable hole is greater than that of the smallest uh, shaft, but the smallest hole is uh, smaller than the largest uh, shaft. That means, uh, in this uh, case, the tolerance zone of the shaft and the tolerance zone for the hole, they overlap each other, they may overlap uh, completely or they may overlap uh, partly uh, as shown here. So, this is the tolerance zone for uh, hole, tolerance for hole and then the tolerance for shaft you can see they are uh, overlapping in this particular case or it may partly overlap like this or like this. So, this is uh, the tolerance for uh, shaft. These uh, smaller uh, rectangles, they indicate uh, tolerance zone for uh, shafts. So, depending upon uh, the actual size of hole and actual size of shaft, we may get uh, clearance fit or we may get interference uh, fit. Now, the again there are different uh, grades of uh, transition uh, fit. Uh, we say locational transition fit, LT fit as per uh, ANSI B 4.1. So, we have LT 1, LT 2 uh, transition fits, locational transition fits and these can be used for uh, bearing bushings, uh, hubs for hubs of gears, pulleys and bushings, retaining rings etcetera, etcetera. Uh, the parts can be assembled or disassembled manually. That means, the amount of uh, force uh, uh, that is needed to fit uh, the parts is uh, not uh, uh, too much. And then we have uh, LT3 and LT4, these are used for clutches, pulleys, manual wheels, brake disc etcetera. The parts can be assembled or disassembled without any great force. Uh, that means, we can use a rubber hammer uh, to fit the parts. And then we have LT5 and LT6, these can be used for uh, armatures of electric motors and sh on shafts, uh, driven uh, bushings, uh, gear rims, flush bolts etcetera. The parts can be assembled using uh, low pressing uh, forces. You may have to use a uh, uh, little bit of uh, pressure uh, uh, to get uh, LT5 and LT6 pressure which is greater than uh, that can which can be applied by rubber hammer. You can see we have uh, a shaft and then we have a hole. Now, the shaft size, we, you can observe that uh, the combination is uh, two dots are there. Since uh, the shaft size is smaller than the hole size, uh, the, uh, the hole uh, and shaft enters into hole very easily. Now, uh, we have uh, another combination wherein we have a single dot. So, this is the shaft and uh, the hole. Now, I am putting the hole onto the shaft. Now, you can see there is a small uh, layer of oil. Now, we have a transition uh, fit. So, we have to apply a little bit of uh, pressure onto the this bush so that it will ent it enters fully. 
So, this is uh, an example for uh, transition uh, fit. Now, I will show, uh, uh, I will put some weight on to this uh, bush, so that it will fully enter. So, I am applying a weight of 50 grams. Now, you can see after applying 50 grams, it has ent uh, entered uh, fully. So, depending upon uh, the, uh, the actual size of uh, shaft and hole, we may get different kinds of interference uh, fits. Now, we have another uh, experiment, where this is uh, the three dot combination. Now, in this case, uh, I can observe I am putting the bush onto the shaft. Now, it is not entering, even when we apply force, it is not entering. The reason is the shaft size is greater than the hole size. So, we have uh, interference. Uh, we will conclude this uh, lecture uh, number 2. In the lecture number 2, we discussed about uh, the different uh, kinds of uh, the uh, fits clearance fit, uh, transition fit and interference uh, fit. We also discussed about different uh, the standards available with respect to the limits, fits and tolerances. And uh, in the next class, we will solve some uh, numerical uh, problems. Thank you. Yeah.